Hi, this is Kim Tucker with KCM, a home buyer, and today I'm taking a look at some frequently asked questions that sellers have for us when they call. Today I'm taking a look at questions we get from people who have inherited a house. Oftentimes they either live in the area and they have a house they don't know what to do with, but more often than not they're in town for three days and they need to sell their house quick, and they have a lot of issues that they're really not sure what they need to think about. So I want to give you some concepts to think about. Or some things to consider. First, what do you do with the contents of the house? How do you handle any repairs? What are my holding costs going to be? And what are my selling costs going to be? So let's take a look at these. First, your contents. Now it may be that the person that has left behind this house for you has a lot of great stuff and you want to take it with you. But more often than not we find sellers have a house that looks something like this. They have a home with furniture that nobody really will fit in their house and knickknacks and knickknacks and knickknacks that nobody really wants to deal with. So what can you do? Well, you yourself could have an estate sale or a garage sale. You could hire an estate company that would come in and sell the contents at a sale and split the proceeds with you. Or we have a service that we actually work with um, that we would be happy to refer you. They are a church. They come in and take a look and items that they can sell. If there's enough items that they can take back to their thrift shop and sell to the general community at a discount and make a profit, they'll take everything. Now, if you don't want to deal with any of that, you're on a time crunch, you just don't want to hassle with it, we'll also buy the house with all the contents and deal with all of the removal ourselves. Next thing you need to look at are repairs. Are there any deferred maintenance, which quite often we find um, in a home that has been inherited is there's deferred maintenance. The furnace is old, the roof is old, the gutters are falling off, or the windows might need to be replaced. Those are all items we can take care of and uh, make you an offer so you don't have to worry about it. Other times we find the house might be in great shape, but it's stuck in another era. Oftentimes that might be a 1950s era or a 1960s era, or in the case of this house, maybe a 1980s era. We uh, buy houses like that and we do the updates. Could you do that yourself? Make the updates and sell it? Certainly, but that's going to take time, effort, and a lot of your oversight to get that done. So do you want to do the deferred maintenance and updates to bring the house up to current? Or do you want to sell it and get it out of your hair? The next thing you need to consider, and you need to consider a lot of this, especially on an inherited house, are your holding costs. First, let's take a look at some things that you might want to consider. Heating and cooling a vacant house. Well, they're saying that's 50% of the energy bill on this picture, but consider heating and cooling this house in the wintertime. If no one is living there and you turn off that heat, what's going to happen to the plumbing in the house? We currently have a home that we have available for sale and it has had heating issues and it is a steam heat. So we have two things. It's one degree outside currently and we have no heat so we had to winterize the house which means we had to go get all of the water out of all the plumbing lines and all the heating lines so nothing breaks and damages the house so that's one thing to consider is winterizing it or leaving the heat on and paying for the furnace the water heater you may want to drain that and turn that off do you need to leave lights on in a vacant house electronics all of those little electronic items the stove the microwave um, the TV, the clock, that all might be plugged into the electrical, those are all drawing energy to keep those little digital clocks running. But some other holding tasks to consider. You're insuring a, a vacant home and check the homeowner's policy, but most often you find that when a home is vacant, that homeowner policy only is good for 30 days. So if something happens on day 45, you may not be covered. Another big chunk of the pie on holding costs are taxes and uh, what are taxes per year? Every month you hold that house and don't sell it, that's another month of taxes you're going to be paying for. So do you want to sell it sooner rather than later? Consider your holding costs, add them up, talk to your rest of the uh, heirs, and see if selling it quickly might be the best option. Lastly, let's take a look at selling cost. What is it going to cost to sell? Well, when you sell a home to us, you're going to have uh, very few selling costs. Basically, uh, you're going to have a title policy, which is based on the, the price of the home 
typically we're seeing anywhere between 240 250 which is a minimum maybe to $300 but not much more than that and you usually have a closing cost of just to pay for the paperwork being done is usually about $200 there might be a few other miscellaneous fees you're probably looking around $800 no matter how you sell it add that in if you're going to uh, sell it yourself uh, signage costs advertising costs to put the ads in the paper uh, that, that can add up or you can hire a local realtor to sell it and I can tell you a local realtor is going to one want that price really low because probably you have all that deferred maintenance and updates that need to be done plus items that need to be removed so they're going to want a very low cost for you to list it but they're going to want six or seven percent to sell it or more if it's a really low priced house for example let's say you have a house that is just in really really poor condition and they tell you it needs to be sold for twenty thousand dollars are they gonna sell a house for twenty thousand dollars for just six percent no they're gonna say out of that twenty thousand dollars I need three thousand dollars four thousand dollars or five thousand dollars to sell it so consider those selling cost plus when the realtor lists it how long is it gonna take them to find a buyer and you go back to adding more on those holding costs so if you have an inherited house that has deferred maintenance that you need to sell and you need to sell quickly I would have uh, take time to give us a call but we can't buy your house or offer you any options unless you tell about it. tell us about it so submit your property today at kcmohomebuyer.com thanks and have a great afternoon